Um, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us to do is find f of g of x. Now, the important thing when doing a problem like this is we let's kind of need to understand what the f of g of x represents. And pretty much what that means is taking the g of x function and plugging it in to the f of x function. All right, so that's what they're asking us to do is take our g of x function and plug it into f of x. All right, and you know we can just kind of go through this, ladies and gentlemen. If you know that f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 5. If I say f of 1, you guys, where do you put the 1 in? Where do you put the 1 in for? The x, right? Yeah. So you could say 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 5, right? And what if I say f of 0? You put the 0 in for the x. x. So you do 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 5. If I say find f of x plus 1, where are you going to put that in for? Where are the x's, right? So you guys are getting the pattern, right? OK. So now, what if I say put in f of g of x? Where do you put the g of x? Where are the x's? So it becomes g of x squared plus 2 times g of x minus 5. Now, and that's exactly all this is asking us to do. This, you guys can see, is that, right? That's what they're asking you to do. When I say f of g of x, they're asking you to take the g of x function and plug it into the f of x function. Now, the thing is, though, do we, do we have a value for g of x, or at least an expression for what g of x equals? Yeah, g of x equals the square root of 3. So rather than writing g of x, I'm going to write the square root of 3. Does that make sense? All right, so let's take a look at that. Square root of x plus 3, right? So therefore, I write the square root of x plus 3 squared plus 2 times the square root of x plus 3 minus 5. Now, the square root of something squared, those are inverse operations, so they'll um, go to 1. And then I'm just left with x plus 3 equals, here, I can't do anything with simplifying. That's a plus. I don't know why it equals came in. So it would be 2 times square root of x plus 3 minus 5. Now, I look at what terms can I combine. Well. I can only combine my 3 and my negative 5. So my final answer, so this f of g of x is just going to equal, I could say x plus 2 square root of x plus 3 minus 2. And that's your final answer. OK? Is that it? That's it.